here at Susan Sound Nanomaker with Sun is the Future.net, and we have the University of Michigan team that just came into the uh, uh, Victoria Square. Right. And tell us, how are you feeling? Feeling amazing. This has been a, a crazy race, five days long. We had fire, wind, water, oh, everything. Yeah. Uh, but so good. much fun to be here at the end with the top two competitors in the world, Nuna and Tokai. Uh, so it's been fun and all totally worth it. Were you able to sleep at all the night before the race started? Before the race started, we did actually get a fairly good sleep, just a few hours, not nearly enough, but uh, we've, we've done all right, I think. Uh, and, well, how did you deal with the fire, the bush fire we were reading about? The fires were, the fires were scary. Uh -huh. um, most of the time, the, the police were able to stop us before we got to the part where there was a lot on fire. There was only one incident where we came very close. There were some fires actually brushing the side of the road, which was pretty intense, but uh, luckily we got through all right, nobody got hurt, so it was all good. You have a really good support team all the way along, right? We do have a good support team, yeah. And what about, I was wondering about, in terms of, uh, is this your first uh, year entering, or uh, you've been with this team for a while? Me personally? This is my first year at WSC. I raced last summer with our, uh, with our home team in the U.S. And we have just a few people coming back. Experience is very you important. Look so cool. Let's oh, see. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna get your jacket all wet. Okay, that's all right. It's meant to be used. This is my first first year in Australia here, so that's been so much fun. Oh yes, I bet. This is a wonderful country, isn't it? It is beautiful and a lot of fun to drive through. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. What did you? Uh, were you able to see anything, or were you kind of just focused in right in front of you? Well, we did a drive up. Uh, we spent several weeks in Adelaide down here before the race started. Oh, so we did idea. a drive up to Darwin, and that was a lot of fun because I could really focus on the scenery and saw a kangaroo and emu in the wild and things like that. And the scenery changed. Some of the outback is incredibly boring, and some is really beautiful. So it was, it was fun to see on the drive up more than the drive down. During the race, very focused, hard to look around. I bet. And it's a good idea to have that test run, though. Yeah, definitely. Just get a feel for the landscape. Yep, I think that was very helpful. What about anything else you'd like to share with us? What are your plans? Are you going to be mm. continuing on with your team? or? Uh, so my plans, personally, we have a group after the race that is going to Japan. We're going to be visiting some of our sponsors. And then I'll do a little bit of traveling. And then probably after this, I'll retire from Solar Guard. <laughs> That's sort of the cycle of our team. You're around for two or maybe four years, and then you kind of pass the torch, which I think is a great way to do it. I'll stay involved, help the new team so that they don't struggle too much. But it's an awesome learning experience for students, and I want to keep that going. You might consider to become involved with solar industry in the future. Maybe, yeah, definitely. I, I have a lot of high hopes for solar. I think that alternative energies have a long way to grow, but that, that we can make a big difference if we keep doing competitions like this. Fantastic. We can see the excitement and exuberance yeah. in this whole group. <laughs> Solar energy is the way of the future. I hope so. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Really appreciate yep. this. Thank you. And have a great day. Thanks.